have no idea the difference that you could make in someone's life. I have uh, enough support from my coworkers that I'm able to, to do this job the best that I can. We really do our part every single day to make a difference in people's lives. I was admitted into foster care when I was two years old. Yeah, so I've, this is my life. I've lived it. And I can't even count the number of social workers I've had. I feel like social workers come and go because they don't realize exactly how hard the work that they sign up to do really is. What would make a good social worker, in my definition, is someone that would look at this case and take it as, this is a life in my hands, see the child as their own child. Whatever makes you really care food through the bottom and top about the child would make a great social worker. There's not really any two days, or you know, like back-to-back -back days that are the same. Some days are really exciting, fun, and then other days are a lot more challenging. You come to work on a daily basis not knowing what to expect, just because every day is so different. It can be hectic. I am an investigator, essentially, for Family Children's Services, and I'm in the Emergency Response Unit. My job is basically case managing um, children in my caseload. The, the position that I have, which is called Family Maintenance Voluntary, I get to interact with all different types of family dynamics, large families, small families. I'm a protective services worker. My main function is family reunification or family maintenance. There are many facets of social work, from working with adults to working with children to doing community organizing. But in child welfare, you can do front-end investigations, you can do back-end investigations, you can work in court services, you can work in family preservation. You can work with small kids, you can work with teenagers. I really care about what I do and I care about keeping families together um, because that's really our end goal, you know, to keep families together and teach them ways to, that they teach themselves, you know, how to keep their child safe. It's not an easy job, but at the same time, so then you're in a position to help families navigate um, an uneasy process. It gives me a chance to help people and possibly change their life, you know, because um, part of it is, is on them too, right, but possibly change their life or with families possibly change like that trajectory of how the rest of their family tree even ends up going. When I was a direct line worker, my motivation was to understand families and to, I believe in what I did, and was really to help them go through this process. I knew it was pretty stressful. If your children had already been taken away, I knew that parents were under a lot of a stress. And we all um, function different um, through crisis. So I just knew that that time it was super important that someone would be there to listen and to be transparent about the whole process. We want our families to have a positive experience. Even though we know oftentimes we come in the door, we're not coming in for good reasons. We're coming in because there's been a referral or a concern, but we can still engage that family in a way that we can help them to be successful in their efforts to keep their children safe and also to give them what they need to advance their skills as, as parents. You never will encounter um, the same family twice. Everyone is different. And so you kind of get to um, learn about that family and what works with that family. And then also kind of see what are some areas that they can improve on and how you can take the strengths of that family to really um, just to get them to where they want to be. If you're interested in this work, I do think that there are some qualities. If you have these qualities, you'll be no problem in doing any kind of social work. And I think these are the three. Number one, you need to have compassion. You need to fight as if they are your family. You need to fight for these children as if they are your children. Number two, you need to have a positive attitude. If you have a positive attitude, then you see the situations very differently. You don't see as gray as it is. You know, if you want it to be positive, it's positive. So that you can let go and you move on and you, you push the case forward. The last one is sense of humor. You gotta laugh at yourself. You gotta laugh at the system. You gotta make joke with your family. You gotta laugh with your children. I mean, you gotta take things lightly. Um, because I feel through laughter, things can be loosening up. And then you can let go and move on. Because it's a process. 
it will pass. Well, there's gonna be a lot of times when the stress level, you know, is this high and, and you're feeling like you can't do it. So it's never gonna be that high, like it's never gonna be that bad. And in the stress level, when it's calm, you know, you're gonna have your stretches where it's calm and oh, this job is easy. It's never gonna be that good. It's always gonna be. So just remember that when it's going really bad, remember it's gonna get better. Just ultimately just make sure you are taking care of yourself too, because you don't wanna burn out because then you ain't helping nobody. If you burned out in two years and you're gone, then you're not helping anyone. So take your vacations, take your breaks, enjoy life too. This job isn't for the weak hearted. You gotta have thick skin, you know? You gotta be tough. Yeah, you gotta be tough um, and willing to learn. Willing to learn being uh, part of a team. Um, work with your peers, work with families and um, have a positive attitude. When you hear their stories about that one person that made a difference, you see that that one person was not a superhero. It was just someone who was there to support them unconditionally. I think the people here are very special. My coworkers are a bunch of very dedicated people and I, I love to be associated with them. So I feel for the new people that come into social work, uh, you will also get this piece of energy and environment. So I say give it an opportunity to come and work in your community and make a difference by strengthening families, strengthening children, and, and giving, giving us an opportunity to help you understand how you can impact someone's life every day.